What is up, my supreme dogs? Luke Darnall back with another supreme related content video. And today we have week 14. And I love y'all very much. Without further ado, season is winding down. Let's go ahead and get it. So, um, interesting week. Right out the gate, um, top voted is the Supreme collab with Kumba. Um, haven't heard of him. I'm not a huge incense guy. Yeah, I've had my fair share of play with them, um, you know, incense in general. But, you know, I, I don't make it a routine thing for me. But uh, a Kumba incense and then with the tray. See, and we'll bounce to the drops GG. Shout out to them as always. But if you look down here in the bottom left corner, we got the tray at 44 and then the incense themselves at 18 bucks. That comes to 72 or no, yes, 62, sorry, um, 62, and then plus, you know, taxes, which comes to about 40, or, uh, geez, I'm fumbling my numbers, about 70, um, so, you know, to each his own, if you guys do like incense, um, it looks pretty dope, you know, it has this beautiful tray, um, with Supreme, and, you know, um, rightfully so, it is shaped in somewhat of a BOGO, you know, boxed, um, shape, so, I like it. I think it's dope. I like this little hit right over here. You guys are kind of getting cut off, but, you know, it's got the Kumba Tokyo. And, um, obviously, we're getting some J Japan, you know, hype or influence and some collaborations this week. Um, only two or three, but, you know, here's one or two of them right here. Um, if sold separate or together, I'm not quite sure. But I do like these. If you guys, you know, smoke, um, you know, whatever you smoking, you could use it as an ashtray. I think it's dope. Um, but it's a pass for me, but I dig the ashtray, um, and then the incense, or just incense, there's, I mean, other than the collectible aspect, um, I mean, there's nothing on the actual incense, which that would be very hard to do, actually, maybe not, I mean, you could just make the incense themselves, you know, something, I don't know, obviously, I am not a manufacturer or engineer in that department, but next, we have the Supreme, um, Spices, Yawatawa, I don't know. Isagora, I think I'm pronouncing those right. We flow with it regardless. Um, but a spice is three set, a set of three. And this is the most interesting item of the week for me. Um, I do think I'll pull the trigger if it doesn't fly quick. I don't think it will, but you really don't know, guys. You never do. When it flies, people will hype it. When it don't, people don't. Um, but I did have to do some research on this. Let me go ahead and shrink this a little bit for y'all um, so you guys can see all the scents. But the one in the middle, the one in the middle is is the, the most um, popular one. I think it's because it has the most heat. If you like spices, I looked at reviews and everything, y'all, because, like, I was just curious. I was mad curious because, you know, I got a grill. I need a new one for sure. The two wheels are busted on it. Um, but, you know, and I live just me homie and my dog so i like grilling out out there and spices like this damn i hate these damn ads dang you guys can't even see here yeah, there we go you guys can see it better now but you guys see the little piles of spices here you can see they're all different obviously we got red and i believe that's the hottest of the three right you would think and then yellow and green we don't know with different blends of flavors but the most popular spice is this one in the middle um they have the names on them but you know i want this you know i could use it because you know like i said i grill outside i'll use it on uh meats and poultry mainly maybe some steaks um some hamburgers but i mean you know it's just an excuse to buy supreme and it's not like i'm throwing 200 bucks you know at something um let's see here we got a three spices we have chili we have tagrashi chili pepper spices um a chichimi seven spice blend that's the most popular one ishimi chili pepper seasoning don't i think that's the green one yeah that, i think that that's the green one and then the yuzu shishimi seven spice blend with yuzu citrus flavor and that is why it is yellow because it has citrus made in japan second item from japan here so this yellow one is the citrus one just tie it like that because uh you know lemons are yellow 
and um, yeah, so I do. I I'll be obviously trying this middle one. Probably I don't mind. I don't mind heat. And the reviews said that it had layers of different kinds of heat, you know, and flavors. So a lot of people um, said who lives in who live in Japan say this is a staple um, in meals, you know, traditionally. Um, you know, on a daily, if you know, or a weekly, if not daily basis. So I, I'm up to give this a try. Have some supreme spices just sitting around my cabinets or in my cabinet. So I'm definitely gonna be trying to hit that one on my phone. Un unfortunately, I cannot do a live cop um, this week. I'll be working, but um, it is what it is. It's not a super hyped week, I will say, and I agree. Um, and then next, you guys know I love my zip-ups. Um, I prefer them a little thinner, not as puffy. This one, for some reason, looks a little puffy, right? I mean, I'm a broad dude, so if I have something puffy on, I just look like, you know, you know, oddly shaped or something. But to each his own, but I love these. Um, if I were to pick, see, this is the one that I haven't looked at closely. Dang, we can't even see the black well. But I got my eye on the black, y'all. Um, it's not nearly as loud um, as and as attention-grabbing as the white one. But I love... Let's get back to the black. I love this black and white contrast here on, around the shoulder down to the arm. Um, I think it's fire. I really like that touch. Um, so there's a possibility I might pull pull the trigger on this one because i just think it's unique and it's cool it's chill it's got supreme to some extent i'm just digging it and i don't have a, a zip hooded black with some cool stuff on it like this usually it's like gray and i got a brown one and so we'll see we'll see i'll just have to show you guys unfortunately you know in the aftermath because i won't be able to do a live cop um i'll be working a lot so it's just it's my time to make money but yeah we'll see let me check the prices on this real quick 198 see it's just hard pulling triggers like this because there's so many shoes too you know and you know i just dropped money on this cavaliers cap went to the game that was fun um good great energy and uh yeah i had to support my home my home state stuff uh but yeah 198 pulling the trigger you know after taxes to 220 230 and then i'm gonna try to get these spices so you know i'm looking at like pushing 300 you know i'll just have to think it through a little bit but yeah it's a maybe for that black one but again i like the white one too it's just to each his own um next oh the incense okay so they just put the incense over here with the tray all right i got you you guys see how far i look ahead um but okay um so yeah we already touched on that so we'll jump to the hooded stadium jacket and i love the colorways they picked here um this is some like kind of retro vibes for me um i love this one the best obviously i mean I'll, I'll, this one just screams cleveland cavaliers if you guys at all know them um but this is pretty much their colors i mean i'm i'm rocking like the colors right now you know it's got like kind of maroon uh dark red blending with this this tan and i uh, love across the shoulders but again if they didn't have the hood this is what hurts my soul um if they didn't have the hood i would have been all over this because it's super retro but the hood i'd literally want to cut that off and i am not one to do that to any pieces of clothing because that's not how it was intended or designed but Without a doubt, for me, this one right here, fire. I love it. So, I really like that one. Let me scoot this back over here. There we go. Um, I really like this one. Um, but, unfortunately, it's got the hood and we're at 238, you know. It just, for me to pull the trigger on some high prices right now, it's got to be like it. Like, that is it. Um so let's get back to the stencil embroidered short sleeve top now these are just like really basic in a very good way clean tees with their colorways i mean you got this kind of ash heather gray with this darker green supreme stenciling 
if y'all don't know at this point i like literally paint parking lots like i do the arrows and stencil a lot so i mean i don't know i just had to point that out because i stencil a lot of stuff too as part of my my job but um but yeah these are cool i mean like i said great colorways the purple purple you know purple and gold i mean i like it i don't know it's just ever since kobe died you know now they cater to you know all of us but um i just can't believe how much purple and gold lakers colorways we get right now um it's kind of nuts uh but yeah i mean the red and the white clean the blue and the white clean gator colors green orange clean um pretty much every colorway the black is the only one that's kind of weird because they chose like this this darker gray um supreme stenciling uh you know across the across the chest there but other than that i mean all of them are like very clean very wearable it just really just depends what colors you rock what colors you might not have um where you live what teams you want to support because obviously purple and gold you know like you got like cincinnati reds um la dodgers maybe uh michigan state i don't know there's tons of teams on all sorts of leagues and skill skill sets and all that kind of stuff. But gauge it yourself. Um, we got the denim short. And I feel the same about these. Um, I really like them. But let me try to... Yeah, there we go. Just so you guys can see them a little better. Um, I really love the brown ones. Um, let me check the price. 138 maybe maybe but like i said probably not probably not um you know like i said or like we've talked about the supreme nike collab went out you know and it had the denim shorts with that patch on the back i mean if i really wanted something fire fire um for shorts this summer i'd probably just try to find a good price on those that's where I'm at with these. That's how I see these. Um, although I love and adore, and my heart beats for this this brown mocha. I'm still earth, earthly grounded over here, um, but doesn't quite do it, unfortunately. Um, so it's 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 a pass, you know, reluctant pass, whatever you want to say, because I part of me wants it, but. The, the brain is working pretty well overpowering the heart there uh next we have the trey jackard short sleeve shirt and this has been quite the buzz um lately in supreme world because obviously we've seen the ashtray right um that was last season i think and it literally was the same pattern so this will sell out i feel like there it has been generated quite a good bit of hype um enough to sell out these and i really do think it's a pretty cool short sleeve it's super um you know inviting fun got color it's got red and white that's the biggest thing here that is classic supreme colors um and then it's a short sleeve button up looks light has a cool style design on it um so i do think this will be a good one the other colorways not so much be honest with y'all I don't dig either one of the other ones, but to each his own. The red is the only one, without question. Uh, so yeah, let me see what the price is on 148. See, that's that's hefty though. That's hefty though. Um, dang, I would have wished to seen that around like 138, 128. So, but I still think that red one will sell out. I really do. But who knows? Who knows? Uh, next, we have some more retro, well, almost like sporty. Yeah, some sporty kind of kind of fits here. Um, these are cool, but they don't quite do it. I don't really like the font of the Supreme here. Um, obviously, this is maybe European based. Um, tackle twill, applique, and embroidered graphics. Equipe half zip okay so this is a collab yeah i'm assuming this is a collab so you know they're i don't know what the price i usually don't 
jump over here for prices so much but yeah see that's a pass for me i just it doesn't really i'm not it's not for me it's for it's for y'all or for somebody these hats though these hats these caught my eye and which one in particular you guys probably already know i do think there's a possibility this can sell out or will sell out is this white one and look how clean this is guys look how clean this is um you got the three and then the e with the red i mean this is classic supreme right here and i like i like kind of just you know the the designer aspect to this so i'm actually already planning on getting one of these hats i don't know which yet but you know because i typically don't like white like especially hats because i'm touching them all the time flipping them around just taking them on putting them on or putting them on taking them off um and they'll get dirty but this one, the branding, it looks so clean that I just wear it in certain events, certain, you know, appropriate times. Maybe go to a golf outing that I never do. But, you know, it's a, it's a simple example. Um, but I think this white one's really clean. Um, the red one doesn't hit as well. Black one, that red is a little out of place. So, like, this white one, pretty clean. So, there's, there's a there's a pretty good chance i'll get that one and the, the spices um so i'll let you let y'all know that right now um the rest will kind of speed up real quick we have the stenciling beanies um same colorways which i always like when they do um but you know to each his own on these uh stencil print so the black is weird as hell we can't even see that that is weird that they actually approved of that. Um, next, we have the Italia. Italia six panel. It's always cool seeing, you know, just different countries tying into America Supreme. Um, but these definitely aren't, they don't fit like like my style and stuff. So it's a pass for me. But I like that, that white one the best because it's got that red bill and it complements the top a lot better uh we got the equipe sweat shorts these really don't apply to me either um so i'm just gonna skip over it um but yeah not much going through my head on that one next we have the stripe terry short sleeve polo i do like clean shirts like this i was a little surprised to see this so low um but I guess they don't look the cleanest because they almost have, they got that that washed look where the red is. Um, but y'all know I love the cursive. I love that cursive font. Um, oh wait, what did this say? Oh, it's the Terry. Interesting. Cause y'all know I got the hat. I got the hat right here. Whoops, sorry if that messed up the mic a little bit. But the Terry. So it's gonna have that sort of material. Um, so that's interesting because I really like this material. Um, let me take a closer look at this and then we'll take a look at the price. Um, I think the red, uh, they only give us the red to look at. I would just use the red only, but let me check the price on this one. 110. See, that's not bad. That is not bad. Um, and I think the red looks halfway decent. There's a possibility, y'all. I'm telling you right now. I might pull a trick on this. Because I, I, I just like the material. It's it's more like comfortable. Like you, you feel. I don't know. It's it's just a. It's a plush. You know. It, it just feels nice. It's like a, a hand towel in a hotel, man. Um, so. I'm telling you. I was surprised to catch that. I'm usually not a detailed guy. Terry Polo. I'm going to have to pull the trigger on that one. That's funny. Because this is like nearly dead last. Oh my goodness. Next to this, these. Pleated trousers. Wool blend half line trousers with Fiskro's lining. Let's see if I can try to understand these pants. They just look basic as hell. I don't know what kind of words I read, but they just look like just pants, you know, like something that you'd actually want to go to a quite important of an event. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know 
pants like that for real but man this striped terry i'm surprised y'all didn't like this i'm digging this one like fourth july like come on now i mean the blue i don't like the the shade that's that's my gripe with the shade because obviously i got the terry i got the terry uh five panel and um it would be nice to have that complimentary but we'll see we'll see i might grab both the blue and the red oh well, i'll probably just get the red but that's funny i'm i'm gonna be i'll give that thumbs up on the website which i, I just don't usually, usually do i do on my phone but yeah that is what i am planning on copping again no live cop this thursday i gotta work i got jobs lined up um and i'll be going for the three set of spices um it's a staple in japan and then um you know and then i like to grill out and then also that cap possibly or i might three cart this the cap that white cap the three spice blend set and then that terry polo in red so we'll see we'll see this is a funny one it's funny i caught that and i actually am gravitating towards it um but yeah give this a thumbs up my bros if you like this kind of stuff again i work a lot this is my work season so when i get on here i'm blessed and i'm happy to do it but it's really hard for me to arrange the time and have the energy more importantly and i'm still working away at my volumes um because i love looking through those and i haven't looked at any more of it so it's all you know alive almost first impressions you know of the the dated the old school the bones of supreme the designs the styling all that kind of stuff and it's fun interacting with you guys you guys a lot of you guys know your history which is crazy um but yeah uh, good luck if you guys are going for anything this week. It's not super hyped. Um, but, you know, the season's winding down. And then we, we start gearing up for fall winter. So, without further ado, I love you guys very much as always. And until next Supreme video. See you, dudes.